Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to install and configure network load balancing feature in Windows Server 2019. NLB is one of the most popular high availability and redundancy feature used in Windows based networks. Windows Server 2019 NLB clusters can have up to 32 nodes in a cluster. When you create an NLB cluster, it creates a virtual network address. The virtual network adapter has an IP address and a MAC address. Network traffic to this address is distributed evenly across the nodes in the cluster. For this demo purpose, I'll be using three Windows Server 2019 virtual machines, which are all running in VirtualBox. The first server is our domain controller with the name ws2k19-bc01. On this server, we have installed and configured Active Directory and DNS server role. Other two virtual machines are a member server, on which we are going to install and configure NLB feature. This is our first virtual machine with the hostname ws2k19-sav02. This server is also part of our Active Directory domain mylab.local. On this server, we have assigned the static IP address 172.18.72.7 Our first step is to install NLB feature on this server. To do that, I am going to click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. On Before You Begin screen, we need to click on Next button. Select Role Base or Feature Base installation and click on Next. WS2K19-SRV02, our local server is already selected. Click on Next to continue. Click on next on select several console. On select features, we need to select network load balancing. Click on add features to add required feature. Click on next and click on install. Let's move to our second node, which is WS2K19-SRV03. This server is also part of our Active Directory domain malab.local. We have assigned the static IP address 172.18.72.8 to this server as well. We also need to install NLB feature on this server as well. To do that, I need to click on Manage, Add Rules and Features, click on Next, Next again, Next again, Next again, and on Select Features, we need to select Network Load Balancing. Click on Add Features, click on Next. And click on install. Okay, installation is completed on a second node. Let's click on close to close this console. Let's go back to our first node. And on this server, NLB feature is successfully installed. Let's click on close to close this console. After installing network load balancing feature on both servers, the next step is to configure NLB cluster. And for that, we need to click on tools and select Network Load Balancing Manager. Let's maximize the console. Let's right click on Network Load Balancing Clusters. And if you have any existing cluster in your organization, that time you can click on Connect to Existing. But we are going to create the first one. That's why we need to click on New Cluster. Here we need to specify the IP address or FQDN of that host which we want to add in an NLB cluster. In our case, I'm going to specify the IP address of our host WS2K19-SRV03 and the IP address is 172.18.72.8. Let's specify the IP address 172.18.72.8. Once you provide the IP address, you need to click on this connect button. Select Ethernet interface and click on next. On this console, you can set up the priority for the host which you are adding to this NLB cluster. By default, this priority is set to 1. That means this NLB node will reply the client's query first. That means this NLB host has a highest priority. If you want to change the priority, that time you need to click on this drop down menu and select the value as per your requirement. One more setting is here initial host state. When you add this node into NLB cluster, what do you want the state of NLB cluster? If you want to start it, that time you can go with start it. 
but here we have a certain other options as well that's stop and a suspended but we are going with the default selection and which is started click on next here we need to specify the new cluster ip address and for that we need to click on this add button specify the ip address to our nlb cluster i'm going to specify the ip address 172.18.72.10 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 click on ok if you want to add one more cluster ip address that time again you need to click on add button and specify the ip address click on next if you want to specify fqdn to your cluster that time you can specify that fqdn or full internet name in this box as well but that we are not going to do right now here we have options to select cluster operation mode generally we are going to use unicast or multicast because for igmp multicast you have to do additional configuration here we are receiving warning that before you enable igmp support consult online help regarding the network implications of using this feature these two options are there unicast and multicast in unicast mode each nlb cluster node replace its original mac address with a new one generated by the nlb software and each node in the nlb cluster use the same virtual mac address and on multicast operation mode NLB adds a layer 2 MAC address to the NIC of each node. Each NLB cluster node basically has two MAC addresses, its real one and its NLB generated address. And that's why we are going to select multicast operation mode for this cluster demo. Click on next. On this console you can define ports which you want to use for NLB cluster. we are going to use this nlb cluster for iis service only and that's why i'm going to add it this default port rule select the port rule and click on add it here i'm going to change the port range from 80 to 80 i'm going to use tcp udp both and under filtering mode we are going to use multiple host and under affinity i'm going to select to none click on okay Let's add port number four four three as well. For that, I'm going to click on Add button again. Let's select the port number four four three to four four three. TCP UDP both. Filtering mode will be multiple host and affinity will be none. Click on OK. Similar way, you can add whatever ports you require in an LB cluster. Let's click on Finish to add this host and to create a new cluster. Let's wait for a few seconds, and after that, your host will be successfully added to this NLB cluster. The icon color of the added NLB node should be green. After that, you can add other nodes to this existing NLB cluster. For that, we need to select our NLB cluster, right-click on it, and select Add Host to the Cluster. Specify the IP address of that node. in our case the ip address of of a second node is 172.18.72.7 click on connect click on next next again and here you can see that defined port rules are listed there for port number 80 and port number 443 click on finish let's again wait for a few seconds and after that that nodes icon will be converted into green that means we have successfully completed the configuration finally we have a green icons on our both nodes that means we have successfully created nlb cluster in windows server 2019 now it's time to taste to taste the nlb cluster use an nlb aware application such as iis service rule with the cluster ip address for this demo purpose already i have installed as service on both servers let me show the default page of both nodes let's access the default website this is the website on uh, ip address 172.18.72.7 okay here we can see uh, host name is that ws2k19-sfc22 let's check the same thing for our second node 
172.18.72.8 as press enter key and you can see name is that ws2k19-srv03 now let's taste nlb from our domain controller let's open web browser and this time we are going to use the ip address of nlb cluster to access the website http colon double slash 172.18.72.10 which is the ip address of our nlb cluster let's press enter key and as you can see we are accessing a second node ws2k19-srv03 why because we have set up the priority one inside the nlb cluster let's clear the internet explorer cache by pressing Control shift delete key combination let's click on delete to clear the cache let's wait for a few seconds now let's again open internet explorer that access the same url http colon double slash 172.18.72.10 and let's press enter key and this time as you can see we are accessing another node ws2k19-srv02 the reason is pretty simple one because we have set up the priority one for this nlb host and two for this nlb host and that's the reason when first time client tried to access the nlb cluster our srv03 responded and the second time srv02 responded based on the ias request after seeing this we can see we have successfully installed and configured network load balancing feature on windows server 2019 that's it for this video demonstration thank you all for watching this video